Hey everyone, welcome back to Factorio. I am Eddie Man, and this is episode number 38. In the previous episode, we went ahead and we worked on military science packs. We got that up and running here. Um, and I did explain to you guys this basic setup I have here. I didn't finish it though, so I went ahead in between episodes and I, and I finished it. I got the iron moving here. Um, by itself. I have one half of a belt of iron here. I, uh, you know, and the, and the gears are placed on the other side for the turrets. And then I got the lime for the coal and the copper as well. And it's chugging along here. Um, I think we've already gone ahead and made a bunch of science packs. Yes, we have, but we have not connected it up. So let's go ahead and do that. Perfect. Okay. Um, this iron here for blue science looks a little stagnant here. Okay. Alright. That looks good so far. Mining productivity 4 is cruising along. Um, the next research I think we're going to do is uh, military 3. Um, we'll see how long that takes for that to. It's probably going to be pretty quick and then if I can I want to showcase the tank here we could we'll build a tank this episode but right now what I want to do is I want to tackle the uh, fundamentals of a belt array now everyone um, a lot of people have been asking me um, when am I gonna build it why am I pocket crafting all my belts my underground belts and my splitters um, so let's go ahead and let's build that today. The question is though, do I have it blueprinted in my blueprint book here? And it does not look like I do. Oil, red circuits, steel, smelting, green circuits. I have red circuits twice. Hmm. Sushi, sushi belt blueprint for okay I have to modify this because it's supposed to be a 24 not a two, four, six, 16 for a full uh, yellow belt of compression of uh, plates yeah I don't have those are walls science robots robots why do I have robots twice Ay ay ay. An expensive recipe. So no, I don't have a blueprint. Okay. Well, I'm going to pretty much make this off of memory. Um, oh, this I don't like this dark spot here. Let's see if we can negate that dark spot right there. Okay. I don't like all these dark spots. I'm going to have to come back uh, and fix all that. But um, oh, mining productivity is done. Let's go ahead and military three. Now that we have military science backs. Okay. Alright, so what is required here is basic uh, basic items, pretty much. Mostly iron, obviously. Um actually be before I do this, let me just check iron to make sure that we are good in that aspect. Our mining operation here is pretty good still, pretty healthy. This is out. Let's pick that up. Okay, pretty good. Okay, and again, it's not expensive recipes, so we're just on the basics. Uh, what's in here? Oh boy, I still have iron in here. Well, we're going to be using a lot of iron this episode, so let's go ahead and pick as much as this up as we. Actually, we could pick it all up. Let's go ahead and pick it all up then. Okay. Get that out of here. Alright, so iron looks pretty good. Um, these two need their own line. Hmm. Okay. Um, getting attacked right there. How are we getting attacked right there? Oh, they're probably going through the trees. 
Okay. Going after power. That's what they're going after. All right. Um, this mining is good. We might have to come up here and get this iron up here. Well, we do have iron over here. So if I was to get that iron as well, how do I, do I just belt it or do I bring this train around? Hmm. All right, I'll think about that. But anyway, let's go ahead and proceed over to our belter right here. We're gonna go ahead and make that. Oh boy, I never connected this copper up. Okay, in the meantime, let's go ahead and do that. Military 3 is pretty much chugging along and it looks like it's almost done already. Okay, that's good. Uh, green circuits. Yeah, we'll have to add on to that. And I don't need this anymore because I have blue circuits. Oh. Alright, we'll come back and pick that up later then. Because they don't have room right now to be worried about that. We got plenty of that. We have plenty. Okay. R Rail chain signals. Okay. Okay. Alright. So I think we have plenty of room right here to do this. Alright. So let's line it up with this one here. And I think it did. Oh, military 3 is done. Alright, the tank should be up here then. There it is. Let's get that going. Did I do. I did 7. I don't know why I did 7, but okay. 2. Okay, so that oh, it just fits. Look at that. Okay. All right. So what's gonna happen is is we're gonna have a basic sort of like this here. Basic setup. Okay, so the first line here is iron gears. Oh, do I need three? Yeah, three sets of iron gears. We have iron gears coming down up the middle here on both sides. And then the first row is uh, yellow belts. The second row is red belts. And then eventually we get the blue belts. Um, I don't have access to it yet. Let me see if it's in the research here. It's, uh, I believe it's Logistics 3, yes. <coughs> express transport belt, underground transfer, uh, all express, express splitters. But they require advanced circuits and lubricant to build. Okay, but well, let's go ahead and tackle this here. We need to bring another line of, another dedicated line of iron in. So that's going to be fun because I'm already tapping so much iron. Let's bring it in from this side here. Yeah, let's do that right here from the bottom. Okay, this, this, and that. So now we can stop crafting all these items. Actually, no, I want it to be. Ay, ay, ay. I want it to be here, like so. Oops. All right, the tank is done. Um, let's do. 
Do I want to do Break Force 1 for the train? Yeah, let's just do Break Force 1. It um, lets the train stay at higher speeds longer and brake faster. Pretty much. Okay, so we're going to do that. Oh, I should have built one more for the circuits. Okay. So iron's got to come up here. All right. Curve it in here like so. Alright, so in, in. Well, these are iron for iron gear, so I should have two for each one. Okay, we are going to do. Let's see, how do I do this? Pretty much like that. Yep. Iron post is being attacked here. It's not like it for this series to be attacked there, but I guess it got through my turrets? I don't know. Okay, we are heading up to take a look at that now. Oh, they went after my, they went after my radar. Interesting. Now, how did they get in? Is it over here. It's better. Okay. No problem. We'll just use up that. Okay. Problem solved. I have four still in there. I don't know what that's from. I don't remember, but okay. Running on the belts makes you run a little tad bit faster. See this iron? Wow. I'm going to have to increase iron production because we're starting to get real big gaps in the bus here. Okay. So back to here. All right. We're going to have our fast inserters out, out, and out. Okay. Um, break and force one is done. Energy distribution two? No. Uh, something's going to be a while. Let's do lab research three. Okay, so what I want to do is, I think I want to underground these here. Yeah, let's underground belt those. And in here, we'll go like to that part there. Okay. Now, um, transport belts, regular ones. Regular, a regular transport belt is one iron plate and one iron gear wheel, right? And then the underground belts and the splitters both require a transport belt. So the middle one has to be a transport belt. Now, my thing is I don't know which side to put I don't remember which side the splitters and the underground belts go but to see the splitter here requires a green circuit and so does 
the fast splitter requires electronic circuits as well. So, and then the blue one requires an electric circuit, the, the advanced electronic circuit. <clears throat> so I think we could do um, in, in, and then in, right? And then I can do something like along the lines like this. Right? Oh, but this. Okay. The blue one will never need green circuits. So. That's not going to work. If we do a half a belt like this, right? And then this belt would come like this. And do a half a belt for red there. So do one red and one green. Only half a belt. So then let's do the red belt first. Okay, so the red belt here, we're gonna only one side of the belt, of course. So then we're gonna bring that up. Okay, and then now we have to get green here. So, how are we gonna do the green? Okay, here we go. So we're gonna take that out like that. Okay, and we're gonna do something very eh, kind of sneaky here. So we're going to do like that, like that, so then it's on both sides, okay? The sneaky part is this. We're going to bring this on the ground, and then this we're going to bring on the ground this way, okay? Like so. Perfect. Does that look good? Yes, that Excellent. All right, so now uh, what we have to do here is um, set this to spl regular splitters. Now that requires the transport belt, the iron plate, and the electric circuit. Now we have the electric circuit going to be fed into there. What we need to do then is we need to feed the transport belt from the middle to the left here using a long-handed inserter. Let's make a couple of these here. Okay, so we're going to do that. Um, I want to make a little confession. Um, this is probably my third time recording this. Um, I experienced uh, a huge issue uh, with my computer and I had to go back to a system restore. Um, a Windows update knocked out my... my um, Codex software and I didn't realize for a bunch of recordings uh, so I had to delete probably about a week's worth of footage and uh, starting at this point here <laughs> um, I have to re-record everything um, so I'm going to try my best to remember everything I did and yes I know it sucks but uh, we all fall victim to the issue uh, the issue of computer problems so um, the rest of this episode uh, that's why this episode of the series had a cut um, the next episode of the series uh, two episodes of the Great Wall of Navius and an episode of Death World I have to all redo and an episode of Stellaris Star Trek New Horizons so yeah um, I finally got it all fixed though. Uh, so this is my third time recording. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, so back. Enough, uh, enough is enough and we'll get this all situated here. Um, okay, so we have that. This all needs iron, right? Iron, this needs iron. 
and iron gear reels. This, this, and this. Okay. Now this, yes, this needs iron as well. Perfect. So yeah, um, for probably about 36 hours, I was flipping out. And I explained it all to you guys on my second round of recording. And uh, now here we are. Um, here we are again, third round, recording it again. So I have to get this <laughs> finished so I can uh, proceed forward here. But anyway, back to business here. Um, this row needs a uh, long hit and insert us up to the next level here. So we'll go ahead and place those. Now I might as well tell you guys what the next episode of the series is going to be. It's uh, We're going to spend an episode fixing iron. Uh, as I find out um, with building this array, iron is can't keep up with the base anymore. As you can see already here. So Oh, I need to cap these to one. Now this I learned the hard way to cap to two. And this we're going to cap to one as well. So, yeah. Oh, in research, I uh, forgot we were finished with that. Um, now, the path of research has been different. I think I did explosives. Let's do that. Okay. All right, we're gonna do lights. Lights. Again here, this one, this one, and that one. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, it feels like a bad case of deja vu. <laughs> Alright, so this one needs gears. Gears, 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 gears. Lots and lots and lots of gears. Okay. All right, so that's our lovely bus again. <laughs> and then, um, like I said, um, iron is, uh, as I pan out here, iron is not good at all. Uh, power armor. I mean, I had plenty of iron here to play with, but yeah. Uh, the next episode, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and um, construct this iron outpost again for the second time, because I've already done it. Once. <laughs> and then uh, from there, we're going to go ahead and proceed with working on our storage for stone to get stone out of here. And I need to fix the iron... Um, column here I need to attach this so we'll go ahead and work on that on the next episode but right now I've got, I'm out of time so again I want to thank you guys so much for joining me in this episode of Factorio and I promise you all the bugs are cleared away and we're good to go from this period from this time forward okay I hope to see you in the next episode and like always I'll see you guys next time bye bye